New concerns tonight about evidence in the Robert Bates case. Good evening, I'm Karen Larson. And I'm Brian Sanders. The former reserve deputy's attorney had to explain himself in court. Investigator Nathan Edwards works for you tonight, pouring over the written statements for us. Nathan? Well, Brian and Karen, this written testimony filed today in federal court paints the picture of a concerned gun shop worker. A man asked to alter a replica gun for Bates' lawyers. He was told to do a trigger job, making it easier to shoot. Knowing it was for the Bates case, the worker refused to do it, saying he quit the next day. The document says he was concerned the weapon was going to be used as evidence to manipulate the jury. The district attorney objected to using the replica in this case, but Bates attorney Clark Brewster, who also co-owns the gun shop, assured the court it's simply being used as a prop for his experts and was never meant for the courtroom. For us to really get an understanding how there can be some confusion with a taser and a gun, we needed to get one just like it. And so when we looked at the gun over at Faulkner Building, it had a really light pick trigger pull. So we bought an identical gun with identical grips and asked the gunsmith to lighten the trigger pull so we could have the same kind of feel. Right now, it's not clear if Bates had the gun that shot Eric Harris altered or whether that would make a difference at all. This week, the judge ruled the actual gun is the best evidence in this case. Now, this testimony will show up again in federal court. The family of Eric Harris plans to use it in their lawsuit against the sheriff's office. Nathan Edwards, Two Works for You.